we're going to solely focus on the fundamentals and get extremely good at that because most people don't. And we're going to do step up to 100 today, standing, kneeling, and front. So as professionals with our rifles, we should be able to hit the target from standing at 100 yards, right? The thing's designed to go out to 600. What's the number one rule of being part of the Tasco Cowboy family? Look cool. Look cool. Look cool, exactly. And it works with the safety and tactics thing too, right? Safety the sensing. Exactly. Boom. Look like this is nice and safe. This is called a workspace. We're going to talk about this today. Boom. I can reload a mag. I can check the status of my gun and it's pulling in a safe direction, right? And if I was going to, you know, Blake's taking a video right now, it looks cool. <laughs> Doing it down here doesn't look cool because now I have way less situational awareness. The gun's never like this. It's always an angle, right? Now we're going to come this way. Oh, I want to look at Tommy now. I'm like, my muscles get close to people, right? And you guys can see every time bringing the gun up, it's down range. You guys catch on that? Pretty much if I see somebody, you know, finger off the trigger, obviously, checking this down to their gun, they're doing this stuff, keeping it oriented down range. I already know they're squared away. So if you guys are in contact with other shooters, you start doing that stuff, they're going to be like, oh, this guy knows what he's doing. It's all little things, right? That make you a professional. with this thing the gun is always on safe until this moment right here <clears throat> and then as soon as it goes away from my eye line it's back on safe no matter what we did a video on this me and Tommy it hasn't came out yet transitioning from rifle to pistol you always put it on safe so who's had it where they have a magazine with rounds in it but the bull holds open when they're shooting on pistol or rifle right if you don't enough shooting it's gonna happen and then what happens oh, I'll leave it on fire Transition now hits my body, sends the bull home. Now I got a rifle on fire and it's on my hip. I don't have control of it, right? So it's on safe. We say threat or beep, which we'll do later. <coughs> Flip the fire, bang, bang, back to safe and back down. That's another one of those things. If you're shooting with other people that know what they're doing, they see you doing that and they're gonna be like, oh, this dude's squared away. Safe on, run! Standing, right points of contact so we already got our standing position here so right here I got my standing position all I like to do is act, it's a little bit different from the way these guys do it I actually like to take a lunge forward into my knee and now I got one more point of contact this right here it's not ideal it's not much more stable than if you're standing I feel like so what I like to do is you can actually lean down right here and you can put your elbow on the soft portion of your thigh right here. So it's hard to soft contact. What happens if you're on your knee and you got hard to hard contact, you're gonna shoot and your elbow is gonna fly straight off your knee. So hard to soft contact right here in the soft part of my thigh, but I can make it better if I just go ahead and sit back on my foot. Now I got an even more stable platform right here. This is perfect for me, but I like to take it one step further and I actually like to twist my foot inward and sit back and from right here I can adjust my forward foot for elevation 
if I need to. And this is super comfortable for me. I can sit here all day if I need to. So uh, I was super happy to come out here and uh, spend half a day shooting rifles, learning new stuff, and I really like the uh, inclusion of cardio and physical fitness and just a basic rifle course. I thought that was awesome. Can't wait to see what's in store for the rest of the day. Looking forward to shooting pistols and learning more stuff. I think you should always be a student no matter how much time you have doing something. The rifle roundup drill was awesome, it was humbling, it was motivating, and I, I would highly recommend anyone try it.